the UK but that was up until Annie decided to move to the UK four months after moving to the UK the couple got engaged however their relationship was troubled Annie would call her family and say that she sometimes has doubts about their union and that Shireen had control issues and she no longer feels comfortable about marrying him but despite all that they still went on and got married in October of 2010 they got married in Mumbai India they had a big beautiful extravagant wedding the wedding lasted for three days everyone seemed happy and the couple seemed to be very much in love and the wedding costed approximately 150 thousand pounds and at the time that would have equated to about 1.6 million South African rands after getting married Annie would sometimes tell her family that she no longer wants to be married and that she wanted a divorce but despite that the couple still went on their honeymoon they decided to spend their honeymoon in South Africa in November of 2010 they came to South Africa they landed at the Cape Town International Airport. They then took a domestic flight to Gauteng from the Western Cape and they stayed at the Kruger National Park for about four days. After that, they decided fly back to Cape Town when they arrived at the Cape Town International Airport they met a taxi driver called Sola Tong Sola drove them from the airport to the Cape Grace Hotel that's where they were going to be staying that um, is a five-star hotel and one of the most expensive hotels in Cape Town upon arriving at the Cape Grace Hotel Annie went inside the hotel and checked in but Shireen decided to stay behind and talk to Zola. He chit-chatted with Zola for quite some time. According to Zola, Mr. Dewani was asking him if he was able to kill someone for him. According to Zola, he said, no, he is unable to do that, but he knows someone from the township who might be able to get the job done. Zola claims that Mr. Dewani said the person who he wants to get killed is a woman, but he never specified 
Mrs. 
was then arrested. Upon his arrest, he initially denied everything and later said, okay, yes, he was involved and that both Mr. and Mrs. Dewani were both victims. And later changed his story once again and said that the crime was organized by Mr. Dewani. And then you're probably wondering what happened to the taxi driver Uzola Dongo. Well, after being Zola went to the Kukuledu police station to report um, this crime but he said that he was a victim as well in this whole entire situation and he had nothing to do or doesn't know who no relationship with them and after a couple of days on the 20th of November according to him he decided to come clean and confess he claimed that he was involved in this crime
innocent. 